Appalachosaurus. This dinosaur is one of the most important discoveries ever made in the state of Alabama and for Tyrannosaur evolution anywhere in the world. It, a large part of the skull was found as a, what we call bloat and float, where it died either in a river that emptied into the sea or along a beach. And it floated for a while before sinking to the bottom. This hind foot here is complete, missing I think one bone. These lower legs are all complete and these are scans from the original material. There's also some tail bones that were found with it as well as the pelvis area. Now, some of you may have heard of the long-armed Appalachosaurus with three fingers. That's not true, that's not correct. Please check out my blog for lots of details. But what I will tell you is no arm material has been found for this animal. This is modeled after Dryptosaurus, another Tyrannosauroid, with longer than average for Tyrannosaurus, but still very short limbs, with two digits. Drypanosaur or Dryptosaurus has a third metacarpal that would not have been visible. So we know it has two fingers. But this skull, simply amazing. I mean, look at this. There's a Tyrannosaurus, and I'm hanging out, and this is life size. Now, beneath it is Eotrachodon, or Eotrachodon, up to you, the Dawn Trachodon, and this is a duckbill dinosaur, also found in Alabama. Really well preserved skeleton. Just cool to see this predator eating the prey in this case. We should mount one of these someday where it's up and like hitting it back or getting duckbill revenge. But for now, this very cool, very important duckbill is being prey to our friend Appy the Appalachosaurus. I'm Dr. Brian Curtis on location at the Rocky Mountain Dinosaur Resource Center saying thank you kindly. Adios.